Hi, I'm International Living Portugal correspondent Tricia Pimentel, and I'm here today to talk to you for a few minutes about health care. You know, whether you're raising a young family or middle aged or retired on a fixed income, health care is a topic of importance to everyone. And that's why I am so happy to tell you that Portugal has won in the healthcare category for International Living's annual Global Retirement Index for 2020, joining high praise from Joint Commission International, World Health Organization, and the European Commission. Let's take a look at a few reasons why. Portugal has excellent uh, private health care and uh, quality affordable insurance for those 75 years and younger. If you're 75 or older, you can still benefit from health discount cards, offering uh, cut rate services on doctor appointments and exams. Uh, so don't be worried if you're over 75, you're still gonna get a break. Um, the public system, the National Health Service, is available to anyone who lives in the country 183 days or more, more than half the time. And uh, it's not complicated to get involved with. Uh, what you do is you'll get your visa and when you're moving. And uh, when you get to Portugal, you'll go to Finanzas, get a fiscal number, and just bring that fiscal number to your local health center. And they will give you a number that will grant you access permanent, immediate, free uh, access to the public health system. Unlike some other Schengen countries, there is no wait in Portugal. You don't have to wait on a waiting list uh, in order to get into the system. There are sometimes, however, there is one drawback with the uh, private uh, public system, and that is there can be waits when you're already in, but you're needing treatment, whether you're in a clinic, in a waiting room, or slated for surgery, let's say, in a hospital. Uh, however, that is not the case if it's an emergency. And one good example of this is recently, our good friends who moved here with four small children had one of their uh, daughters broke her arm not too terribly long ago. She was immediately entered into a public hospital. The surgeon determined that it was kind of a tricky operation involving a growth plate because she's only five years old, uh, did the surgery. The child stayed in the hospital several days, and when she was released and discharged, her parents paid absolutely nothing. Another example of a public health care service is our friend Michael, who successfully underwent treatment for lung cancer and it cost him several hundred dollars only. Now, uh, there are pharmacies on every corner, it seems, in, in this country, and um, the medication costs, the rates are already way below what you would expect in uh, the Northern American countries. But with a doctor's prescription, those medications can be possibly even free. So, that's a look at uh, healthcare, in a very brief one, but healthcare in Portugal. And I hope you found it of interest. And uh, thanks a lot for listening, and I'll see you next time.